Namaste everyone. Welcome back to Yoga with Amit. Today we're going to do yoga for hips. So let's begin. You can sit in a comfortable position or you may want to have a block and you can put under your hips. So you want to sit on the edge of the block. So like this. This way it will be easy to bring your back straight. You see it's much easier. Your knees are falling down otherwise they will be lifting up like that. And if you don't have block, you can use any pillow or something that, that makes your hip slightly higher. After that, let's begin with the butterfly. So it's gonna be for your hips. Let's work on the hips now. Joining your feet together, holding feet, lifting the chest, which is much easier because of the block. And then you're shaking your legs. It's not only going to make your butt round, but also open your hips. That's good. Do it for 30 seconds at least. Longer if you have time. Gradually stop and pressing your thighs down, open your hips more, make sure that you're not hunching this way because you, you don't want to hurt your back. So work on the hip, okay. stay healthy on the back, and keep your back healthy. Good. I don't need the block so I'm going to remove it. But if you need, it's just in case to move it. Now bring your one leg close to your thigh and another leg into your hands, like this. And then make sure your back is straight and leg is as higher. The higher, the more you work on your hips. And shake your leg like a baby. Nicely, easily. And you can do the same again for 30 seconds or longer if you have time. And then you can change the leg once you're done with one leg. And repeat exactly the same, make sure your back is straight. Second. That's good. I'm going to the next pose, my favorite one, cat pose. So come onto your hands and on the knees. Make sure your hands are under the shoulders. A knee under the hip and the legs, legs are hip wide open. And then you can bring your head up, arching your back. So you want to try as much you can arch the back. But without straining and with exhale, touch your chin to the chest. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, arch in your back. Exhale down. 
I will turn the V up. Exhale down. Back to the center, the base position, the base cat. And then you're going to kick your right leg back as high up as possible. But not, not like this, just stretching the out and slightly up as back as possible. And make sure your body stays still. You put tilt into the side. Back. Change the leg. Down. Change the leg. Down. Repeat with both legs at least five times each side. That's good. Now you're going to bring the leg up and try touch your head to the foot. So bring your right leg up and try touch your head to the foot. And then exhale forward to the knee. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Repeat the same with the left leg. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down and sit down into Vajrasana with your close eyes and rest a little. And then we will do the camel pose. So go onto the mat and stand on your knees about hip wide open the knees. And you want to check if you can touch your heel with your hand easily, you see? You should be able to touch like this. If you can do, then go ahead and do the pose. Inhale, lean right arm up and bring the right hand onto the right foot. Left arm onto the left foot. And back. And then you're pressing your hip forward. You can hold for as many breaths as comfortable. Eight hundred seconds from five up to thirty seconds, depending on what level you are. When you come down, you can gently drop down, or either you can come this way, or you could come one hand at a time as you went into the pose. Then the last pose we do for, for the hips is the down dog. So go onto the hands and lift your hips up onto your feet around the center. And then you're pressing your chest towards the ground. And then bend your knee and lift your hip up. Bend your knee, lift your hip up. Bend your knee, lift your hip up. Bend your knee, lift your hips. When you lift your hips up, you're working for your legs. Bend the knee, working for the hip. Working for the whole body. So your whole body is getting worked out, not only your hips. Repeat for many times you can. Allows what allows your body. Play with your body and see what is felt nice in your body and practice it. Yoga is about feel good. And then stay 
go into the child pose and you can rest. So that was the yoga for the hips, hope you like it and remember yoga is about feeling good and feeling healthy, becoming more healthy and start to get flexible. Nobody born, well, be born as flexible but we have to keep, keep up the flexibility so we lose it as we grow and you have to practice the yoga and get the flexibility then. So practice it and let me know how it goes. Thank you very much for joining me and see you next time. Namaste.